This is Duke University. Right, what I'd like to do is go through the results of the study with you in detail. And the key message really is in this one slide. And this is for the individual smoker in India. And there really are four key messages. First, the risk is much bigger than previously thought based upon what we understood about Indian smoking patterns. The second is that smoking kills early. 70% of the deaths from smoking occur at ages 30 to 69, losing decades of good life. The third is even a few BDs or cigarettes can kill. And the fourth is stopping smoking is highly effective, but currently only 2% of adults in India have quit. To put this into context, worldwide in this century on current smoking patterns, there will be something like a billion smoking deaths. About 150 million deaths will occur on current smoking patterns in the next uh, 20, 25 years, about 300 million in the next quarter century, and 500 million in the latter half of this century. A billion smoking deaths on current smoking patterns, unless adults quit. So the core strategies for India and for China and all developing countries is really cessation, is trying to get the current smokers to quit. Now, what can one do about it? Well, this is not a message for individuals, it's for governments. And they really are as follows. To take tobacco seriously, tobacco is a big cause of death and a big cause of poverty. When governments take tobacco seriously, it's pretty obvious what to do about it. One is to focus on adult stopping. The second is to use particularly very effective taxation measures. Uh, we've recommended tripling the excise tax on cigarettes, for example. That would double the worldwide price and drop consumption by at least 30% and even get some more tax revenue. But other things help. Big local packet warnings, the absolute ban on advertising and promotion, bans on public smoking. And these are important not just to protect non-smokers, but they actually help current smokers quit. And monitoring this dynamic epidemic. All of these help. And these are simple things governments can do. But the condition is this one. If you don't take tobacco seriously, you don't act upon it. What would this mean? Well, these are just some estimations of if India actually raised the prices on BDs. Currently, BDs are untaxed and they're quite cheap. But if they raised it even 50%, that would avoid something like, cumulatively, we say eight, nine million deaths over the next few decades. And what are the attitudes towards smoking, attitudinally in the, in the larger public and in the, in the officialdom of India? Well, you know, I think it's interesting. The, the key messages for governments, I think, really apply is when societies take smoking seriously, is when you start doing the obvious things to control it. And in India, um, the health minister, Dr. Ramadas, has been an outspoken supporter of tobacco control. But he's actually ahead of everyone else. He's ahead of a lot of the politicians. He gets criticized by it. Um, I think the challenge is to try to get this information relevant to the smoker in India. And that's important in a couple of ways. Uh, first, if you think about a legislation that's been brought in to try to ban smoking in public places. That just came in on October 2nd, partly, partly spurred by this research. Ramadas was using these numbers as justification for that legislation. But in a place like India, it's very hard to think about how do you enforce that. It's just it's chaotic and there's corruption and there's so much issues. Yeah. So what what why is there this, this this discrepancy between you know the two like you know smoking kills early but if you stop early you could still prevent. Well, the smoking kills particularly early in India. Mm. We don't have good evidence on the benefits of cessation yet in India because so few quit. Only two percent of adults have quit, and many of them is because they're sick already from the smoking. But evidence from particularly the UK and the UK doctor study finds that for most of the causes, um, 
including the ones where you would expect some residual damage, for example, lung cancer of the, the cigarette products sitting around in your body, that the benefits are actually quite sharp. So one of the strategies that will be is to follow this over time and see if the benefits are different. Now, because the age of onset of smoking in India is later, then it'll be interesting to know whether you can actually um, quit at age 40 versus 30 and get benefits. And again, I want to come back to the key messages, which are really four. The risk is much bigger than previously thought. Smoking kills early. 70% of the deaths occur in middle age where you lose many decades of life. It's not, as The Economist wrote a few years ago, most smokers get away with it. They die at old age when they would have died of something uh, anyway. So why not enjoy life? It's just not true. Most in India, 70% of the deaths are in middle age. And even a few BDs or cigarettes is a highly effective way of killing yourself and stopping smoking works. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.